All right, well, we have a problem here. Um, basically, let's watch this video again and hit repeat. Um, check this out. At the end here, we have water that's sort of moving of its own volition or not moving. It's just kind of doing its own thing. The reason for that, I forgot to tell you something, and I forgot to do it myself. Actually, you know what? I was taking a shortcut, and it doesn't work. Um, okay, so basically what I didn't do was I didn't define that um, the surface of this fluid. Let's, let's get into... Oh, come on. The surface of this fluid is the only thing that should be deformed. And if you notice, everything is deformed, including, and I didn't realize that this was, this was going to happen, but including this stuff up here is, is actually moving up and down with the surface. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. It should just be affected by gravity. So um, what I'm going to do is try to fix that right now. And to do that, let's add a plane. Oh, let's go back to frame one. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and turn off all. There we go. I'm going to turn off all of these real quick. I'm going to add, this would actually have been the first group that I should have added, but it's going to be the fourth. We're adding it as an afterthought, unfortunately. I apologize for that. Um, add group four, or I'm sorry, group three here, the fourth group. Um, add a mesh plane, scale it out. Okay, there it is. Um, actually, let's scale it out a little further here. And then um, I'm going to go down here. We're going to snap it to the a face here. Oops, what did I do? Oh. Well, let's just lift it up a little, and then try that again. Hmm. Um, closest. What's it doing to me? There we go. Okay. So, um, basically, this is on the surface, and we're going to define. Once again, we're going to define a group of, of um, vertexes. So let's, let's see here. OK. Add a modifier. Um, vertex weight edit. Last group. Group add default weight of 1. OK. Go to weight paint mode. All right, add a modifier. We're going to move, oh, let's do this. Let's move, I'm going to go ahead and move this up to the very, t hmm. Let's move it up actually just above my displace. Okay, so I've got two displaces right here, and this is going to be above those. All right, now I'm going to add a modifier. Um, vertex weight proximity again. Go with the last vertex group, target object. Oh, let's name this thing. And also, while we're at it, let's um, apply the scale. I'll call it surface deform, which is uh, what I learned to call it before. All right. OK. So now, down here, let's do this, 1, 0, distance, uh, geometry, face, target object, surface to form. All right, there we go. OK. Now I'm going to advance this so that we have a little more information also. Let's see what happens. Um, Click into Z. Okay, so there we are. Um, and this is my definition. This is the only thing that the red is the only thing that we deform. Let's hide this right now. 
click into Z. And that's not really that red, so I'm going to do this. Okay, so that's the only thing, that's the only surface that'll be deformed, nothing else. Um, but the problem with that is now I have to mix it. So let's do this. Boy, I hope this works. Um, move this up, let's see, right above the displace again. Cool. All right, those are the only two that I have going. <sighs> okay. Um, all right, so the first displace is working with group. Second displace is working with group 001. All right. And actually, I want, I'm going to do this. Let's. Um, I like that better. Okay. So now, add a modifier, vertex weight mix, and we're going to the group A is going to be group, group B is going to be that last one that we just ordered, and then let's do this. Oh, and we make sure that we are that we're on here. I'm going to go ahead. Let's see, displace. I'm not going to worry about that just yet, but I want to make sure that all these vertexes and maps are on. Cool. Okay. So um, rather than replace, let's hit multiply, see if that works. Look at that. So now we have displacement with the first group, but only in um, where we had it before. Let's see if I, if I do this. Not quite as much as what it was, but that allows for the fluid simulation to have its properties as well. I could, if I wanted to, Let's see here. Can I? Nope. Nope. That's not going to work. All right. So the one thing that I can do is come up here and sort of, um, let's see. Yeah. Make, to adjust it, you can make that a little bit darker. But it does start to reach up. So let's go back. Oh, there we go. Cool. All right. So I just, I, I think I'm kind of happy with that. Um, again, those can be adjusted. Now, let's move this up. Uh, above the displaces. That's the important thing. Okay, so there's my two displaces. Here's my new mix. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And this time, group 001. And if we go look at group 001, it should be, oh, look at that. Okay, cool. So now the only thing being displaced by our displaces is this and nothing else, nothing below it, nothing above it, except just a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah, that's my addendum. And I apologize for the mistake. Uh, it's very important to do this correctly. I'm going to go ahead and run a um, run this and see what happens, especially with those last frames. Um, so, but I'm going to post this particular part of the addendum um, as quickly as I can. So, uh, let's let's have a look at this. Okay, so all of these vertex groups. Let's go ahead and click on the displaces. Notice this stuff is displacing, but not this. Let's go ahead and go to object mode. And the shrink wrap at the very end. We see that a little bit. Yep, we see that along the edges. Um, 
Okay. Oh, 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 and of course we always have this this thing going on. So, um, all I have to do is just reload that frame. We should be good. Yep, everything's good. All right. Um, huh. Also, uh, it's important to realize that all of these all of these um, modifiers have to be in every single um, whitewater object. So I'm going to basically, okay, let's do this again. Left click, shift, left click, shift, holding down the shift button all the way up to the fluid surface that has all the correct modifiers. Control L, modifiers, and let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. It's good again. Oh. Last thing, um, go into all of your white water objects and make sure that you have a great a group 0 0.003 I think this worked for me because I was doing some experimentation with other things and I already had that group there so make sure that you have that and um, I again I, I'm so sorry that I missed that but uh, hopefully you'll get this and, and you'll see it and 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 do it right and then do it better next time thanks a lot